What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I have been getting some questions about what I do for work and social media management in general. So I thought I would do a video kind of sharing a little bit behind the scenes of tools I use, behind the scenes of a photo shoot, which will be later in this video. So definitely stay tuned, that was so much fun. I wanted to actually start off with the most important part if you wanna work in social media management and that is having good tools to organize your content and post your content. So if you guys didn't know, I've been working in social media since Really when I was in college, I started interning for social media. Um, and then right out of college, I got a job um, managing a company's social media. I have used a ton of different social media tools, like scheduling tools, and it makes the biggest difference. I don't know any company who doesn't schedule out their content and is just doing it by hand. Cause if you think about it, if you had to manage like five different clients social media and had to manually go and post for them each time it would be such a hassle sorry the lighting has been just so much fun so with that being said i wanted to give you an inside look of the social media management tool that i use which is appy they are an amazing social media management tool they help you organize things like i said i have used a lot of different social media management tools. This one definitely has the most features. It has everything that I look for in a social media management tool and then some like bonus. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I use it. One big thing that I love is that it is available on an app and on your desktop. Okay, so one of the most convenient parts about Appy is their app. So you can do everything right from your iPhone. They also have a desktop version, which is awesome, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But let me just show you how I use the app to schedule. So this is the app right here, import from my camera roll. This is the next photo I want to post. So you can add edits to it in here. Then you can write a caption. It has a history you can save captions let's say you get some inspiration or you know you need to promote something for your client however you don't have the content to go with it or the graphic to go with it you can just save your captions and they also have suggested hashtags which is awesome a really cool thing that I have never seen in an app like this before is they have this keyboard option okay if you go under A, you can access all these other fonts. And this is actually what I do on my Instagram stories. And I have like a whole extension plugged in down here, but I think it's really cool that they automatically have it in the app because I can't even access these. Like this Gothic one is a paid font. You can add cool symbols. It's all right there. So I'm just gonna save that. Another awesome feature is I can tag things. So if I was wanting to feature my outfit, I can tag them right here. This is actually thrifted, so I don't need to tag anything, but for the sake of it, I'll just show you how, what, maybe I can tag Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill AZ, heck yeah. Can also add the location of where the photo was taken. Okay, this is a feature I've never seen on any other social media management tool. So you can actually put what you want your first comment. So a lot of people utilize the first comment to add the hashtags. So if you are doing this for your client, this is an amazing feature. If I were to use hashtags, I could go in here. Um, and the awesome thing is they suggest some, so you can kind of see what they have. Another really awesome thing is you can add products. You're just, your Instagram just needs to be hooked up to your store. I'm not a store account, so that's why it's not working for that. So the coolest part and what saves you so much time and why apps like these are so important is because you can schedule out everything in advance. <sighs> if you don't utilize scheduling tools, you are gonna be constantly on your phone if you're working in social media management. Cause imagine having five clients and needing to post five times a day and having to do it manually. Another really cool feature that I like is they tell you the best time to post 
for your specific audience. And that usually takes some dive, you gotta dive into some analytics and over time you can kind of gauge what time works best for the audience. But Appy does it for you, so that is amazing. So they're suggesting if I wanna post this tomorrow, I either do it in the morning, 1.40 or 3.30. This is also great if your client is in a different time zone or let's just say you don't wake up early enough to post when they suggest or when the best time is. Like maybe the best time is at 6 a.m. and you sleep till eight. This does it. That's really cool. I didn't even know they had this feature. You can add an advertiser. So if you are in the social media like influence world and you partner with a brand, you can add their email, add in the payment information. Dang, that is really cool. This is really great if you wanna keep everything like more cohesive. You can move things around in the drag and drop preview. That looks good. And then I can just go in and schedule all of these when I have time. Some other features they have on the app is scheduling out Instagram stories, which is really cool. And also IGTVs, you can upload it straight from here. This is a really awesome tool. So if you guys are interested in downloading the app, I'll have a link in the description. Um, I believe I have some kind of code to get you a discount. So if you're interested in using this app, definitely download it. I would highly recommend it over all the other ones I have tried and used. And trust me, I have tried a lot. Let's get into more behind the scenes of what I do for work. We're gonna do a little photo shoot for Truly Blessed Jewels next. So on to the second part of this video. Right now I'm working with Truly Blessed Jewels. They have amazing jewelry. Actually, this cross that I'm wearing now is from them. So highly recommend them, but I am doing some photography and photo styling for her jewelry and her website photos. We're revamping their website and just putting up a bunch of new photos that are more cohesive. So right now I'm shooting all of them and then I will be editing them, uploading them, cropping them all in the same proportion so it looks really cohesive. I have to shoot all of these pieces. I'm using all these props, most of which that I got from the thrift store. So I'm just taking one at a time and kind of setting it up on a similar, um, pretty plain background. So this is one setup that I have been doing. And then sometimes I will put in this record and then shoot the piece of jewelry on here. Another thing I like to do is work with the shadows of this. As you can see, it kind of creates a cool shadow and then I'll lay the jewelry here and shoot it like this. So I think this looks pretty good. I'll probably try to shoot it without these plants. So more just like that kind of view. Here is the next setup. I just turned the pages. They have like these beautiful illustrations inside. So this is gonna be the next shot. Just shooting this right now. Hello, it is a new day. I have sat down to edit the photos. So I have imported them all into Lightroom. That is what I use to edit my photos. It's the most efficient thing ever. I like bought the program for my computer, which is so much more convenient when you're editing a ton of photos. So I thought I would show you guys kind of my editing process. So once I get these all edited, I will export them, add them to the shared album, which is a great tool if you're working in social media is the iCloud, just shared album. So um, that's what I do for my other client who is kind of like a long distance client. So they just upload things to the shared album. And then from there, I can download them to my phone and post them on social media. Two very different clients. One has an in-house photographer. Um, this client in particular is local to Arizona and she needs help with photography. So it's really up to you as a social media manager, which avenue you wanna to go, to, go to. If you wanna be more full service in offering like photography and content creation, or if you prefer to be more hands-off in that area and you can find a business that has someone like that in-house, 
that's also really awesome too. I do enjoy doing like the photo, especially when it comes to this kind of like cool jewelry and photo styling. I find that super interesting. So I like it both ways. So I am in Lightroom. This is one of the photos I'm editing. If I just click on this back command, this is what it looked like before. So once I get kind of a preset and look that I like, I can copy and paste the settings onto all the photos and then um, tweak it depending on the lighting. So let me just go through the next one and do it from scratch. Um, another thing I do is have to like pull through the images. So I'm going to mark this with an X because it's a bit uh, overexposed. This lighting is a little bit better. So the presets I'm using for this particular client are the JJ Lovely ones. I actually also use these on my Instagram. I think number four. Everything looks pretty good to me. However, I think I'm gonna drop down the shadows a little bit. Also the exposure. Oh, okay, that changes things. So I'm gonna drop the exposure and then pick up the shadows again. And this one's a really easy one. It's just kind of like a two click shot. And then I'm going to crop it to the photos we want for the website. And that one's pretty much good to go. So from here, I can literally press Command C, copy basically all the adjustments I just made. So now I'm gonna go into the Develop tab, press Command V, literally just paste all those settings. This lighting is a little bit different, so I'm gonna go back up to one of these photos. As you can see, as I reject them, they kind of black out. These are all the photos I've edited so far. So I'm gonna go to this one that has a similar setup. I'm just not loving those other settings. So I like this. I'm gonna reset it, paste on these other ones. There we go. I really like the coloring and it's a lot better. Let's go to crop it. Maybe cut in a little bit tighter. If you want a little bit more control, you can click on any of these settings and use the plus and minus key to make adjustments. So I think this one might just be a little bit too warm, but if I were to slide it back and forth, I wouldn't have as much control. This way I can move it literally number by number. just walked down the street to the park to do a little work. Luckily Kyle has this like portable Wi-Fi thing, which is super handy. That is one thing about working in social media. If you can work from home, it's amazing. However, I don't work very well from home. Oh, there's a garbage man. So like I was saying, I don't really work very well from home. I get distracted pretty easily. So I typically will go work at coffee shops a lot but with everything that's going on coffee shops are cl closed and they're just suggesting that we don't go out so today I decided to just walk to a park and sit at a park bench alone it's pretty empty there didn't come in contact with anybody so that is just what I'm doing and yeah this little thing is awesome if you guys have any other questions about working in social media or uh, other tools I use let me know. Thank you again to Appy for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the app at the link below. All right, guys, I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.